Well, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for your patience and thank you for being here. And uh, I wanted to give you a, cup, a quick update on our deputy first and foremost. He has been shot three different times, but by the grace of God, none of them are life-threatening. So we're, we're doing well there and have been blessed in that, that arena. Today, they were executing three warrants involving sexual assault of a child, indecency with a child, and uh, restraint of a child. That was the suspect. He's a 40-year-old male. I don't have any information on him other than that, that the deputies arrived on scene, and obviously this gunfight ensued. Still got a hot, active scene where they're at, and that uh, uh, hopefully is being resolved. Our SWAT team has been on scene. Fort Worth SWAT team is on scene, and uh, they're dealing with that situation. But the good news is our deputy is going to be just fine. They don't even expect surgery today. So we will see, uh, see how he's doing. But he took three wounds, once in the arm, once in the back of the head, and once in the uh, lower flank. But, uh, but he's alert, he's conscious, he's talking, he's seeing his family, and, uh, and we're pretty happy about that. Sheriff, what can you tell me about, tell us about him and his service back at the police department? Well, I can tell you that he has uh, uh, been here ever since I've been here. He's an experienced fugitive officer and SWAT operator, and uh, he has performed magnificently. He has uh, been decorated and awarded, and uh, he's that quiet guy in the corner that just does his job every day and does it very well. And for you, the idea of a bullet grazing the deputy's head, what goes through your mind? Well, I just, I just thank God that uh, we were a quarter inch off of him uh, and that uh, he's going to be fine. Uh, you know, it's just miraculous just miraculous because it was pretty close combat as I understand it so far. Of course, there's more details. As you all all know, there will be more reports coming out to get more exact exactly what happened. But, yeah, when uh, lost my heart when I was told about that shot. What type of firearm did the suspect have? Was it a handgun or a rifle or something else? We don't know all that just yet. Uh, is there another subject beyond the suspect in the residence? We don't know that either. Uh, we just know the scene is hot and uh, they're still trying to negotiate and try to bring it to an end. And so originally this was on an unrelated situation? Excuse me? Originally this was on an unrelated situation? Well, the, no, the, the, the deputy along with other deputies was trying to execute uh, felony warrants okay. uh, of the sexual assault of a child. Yeah, sexual assault, unrelated. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they were going after him. Unfortunately, as the times that we have, that evil absolutely walks boldly among us and continues to walk among us. And uh, Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, along with Fort Worth PD and the rest of the PDs, are going to stand between that line between good and evil. And and uh, and yeah, I was just a few minutes ago with uh, Deputy Brown, who, by the way, is on the scene at this shooting uh, and back in service and doing great. Uh, was this deputy? outside of a residence when the shooting occurred or were they indoors? You know? I do not know the answer to that, but but we'll probably know when we, we get it up uh, get more information. Sorry, I don't have a lot of information, but what I do have is great information right now. We're praying that this other situation resolves without anybody else being harmed. Are we going to get a timeline on releasing the deputies uh, I would think that maybe a little bit later this afternoon, we're still waiting on family issues and want to make sure everybody's connected and make sure that uh, nothing gets uh, ahead of us on that. All right. Sir, you probably won't be able to answer this, but was he trying to take cover? Because it sounds like he was shot in the back or on the side and then in the back. I, I don't know if he was trying to take cover or that, that the shooter just had an angle on him and opened up on him. I, I have no idea what's happened yet. And of course, all that stuff will come out. It was pretty chaotic, as you can imagine. And uh, you know, there's a lot of cops at that scene right now. And uh, but I have confidence in Fort Worth, and I would like to say that JPS once again has just done an incredible job, and they they were spot on. The ambulance service was ex excellent, and we're very fortunate to live in a community where we got great medical care, great ambulance services, and some incredible law enforcement people.